Um, so the diagnosis of CMML can be challenging, but um, if the right um, uh, laboratory studies are ordered, if the right bone marrow biopsy pathology is evaluated, um, um, it, it can be uh, diagnosed uh, in, in a fairly straightforward manner. So um, the important things to note for the diagnosis of CMML is that there is a peripheral monocytosis requirement. Uh, the monocytes in general have to be over a thousand and constitute more than 10% of the bone marrow. Now that's changing a little bit with the next World Health Organization update. Um, where they're in, allowing a, a lower threshold of monocytosis if other criteria are met. But the monocytosis is, is critical. And then, um, is there any dysplasia or abnormally appearing cells in the bone marrow? And then lastly, are there any mutational changes um, that are consistent with CMML? Um, and then a supporting uh, laboratory evaluation that we have at Moffitt Cancer Center is looking at the types of monocytes. So we know that classical monocytes are enriched in CMML and that helps with the diagnosis. And when you have all of those together, um, you can make the diagnosis of CMML. The prognosis of CMML, unlike most MPNs, um, is, is far more dismal. So the median overall survival is about 32 months and those that have the proliferative subtype, it's less than a year. And there really are no treatments um, that change that in CMML. Um, so it's, it's really a disease where we really need new treatments. Um, <clears throat> the main purpose, in our view, of, of prognostic stratification is to determine whether your CMML patient should um, consider a bone marrow transplant, an allogeneic stem cell transplant. And so if um, they have higher risk by any of the modern scores, whether, whether it be the CPSS or the Mayo Molecular, um, or, or others, um, those patients should be considered for stem cell transplant.